Twitter's failure to identify and remove fake criminal accounts that are stealing your money. All right, so let's have a look at my notifications and find this blur notification. This is a blueprint for a Twitter scam. So the blueprint is create a fake account. Let's have a, a quick look at this fake account from Blur.io. Look, just a little bit of background. Blur is um, a legitimate business that has just created an NFT marketplace. And they are, in fact, doing an airdrop um, for their Blur token. So all of this so far looks a little bit legit, right? But the fact is, it's not. It's a scam because the real Blur is one of those underscore shift underscore characters dot um, io and they have a hundred and thirty one and a half thousand followers the fake blur and I, I noticed that this is in 2016 so this would have more than likely been a different twitter account that was started back then it could have been hacked or stolen or sold or anything They've rebranded it to look like Blur to trick people, and they've only got 47,000 followers. All right, let's just go back to the red flag. Um, again, I saw this on my notification. So Blur didn't send this to me. Someone else that I've never seen before in my life tagged me on this, right? I'm not following them. They've only got 16 followers, right? So again, it's either a fake account or a stolen account, right? So they've got me on this list and um, it, well, it looks like I can reply to this conversation, but I doubt I can. Uh, oh no, here I can, I can reply. So I can just simply say scam, of course, right? And I can report this, report this tweet, start the report, um, everyone on Twitter, um, harassed or intimidated, spammed. Yep. And fake and gate. No, multiple accounts. No, no. Misusing deceptive links. There we go. Uh, scams, phishing and malicious links. That's the one. Continue. Submit. All right. Done. So I've reported her, but let's also report the post itself from the fake blur account. Notice I can't reply to this. That's another giveaway, right? If they're going to post something on Twitter, but no one can reply to it on Twitter, that's, again, huge red flag that this is a scam. So let's report this one. Start report. Everyone on Twitter. Next. Um, spammed. And we'll use this one. There's a couple in there that would be relevant. Um, but, you know, whatevs. Um, so that's two of them reported. Now, um, let's just have a look at the... Um, or No, I'm oh, sorry. Just two secs. Because I want to follow this up. I want to follow this up. So I need to show you the time and date. There we go. So it's 10 a.m. Um, November 5th, Saturday morning over here. And um, I, I can guarantee that this will still be around in days to come, even though I've reported to it. Um, so it'll, it'll be actively stealing money by being on the Twitter platform and pretending to be a legitimate Twitter account. And even though it's been reported, it will, it will um, continue to do so. And why do I know this? Well, because there's another fake account that uh, most of us uh, in our community reported ages ago. So the official wolf.game with 58.7 thousand followers um, has been around since November 2021 and this is the legit wolf game. All right. Now let's have a look at another fake one. I'm going to type in W O. Now instead of L, I'm going to type in capital I, which looks like an L. And in Twitter, they often do this. They'll replace characters in the name with other characters that look very similar or even identical. Um, in this case, the capital I looks exactly like an L. And this is how they make their, often how they make their fake accounts. 
Um, notice this one's got 32.9 thousand followers. And on this one, they, they're saying that there's a wool event number five is live. So this is a scam. Um, let me show you the proper wolf game. Okay, so this is wolf.game, right? And they have had a thing called a wool event four. And that was the last event. And this will, in fact, be the last event. Um, and it was said that the creators of the game have a, ha, have a Discord channel and everyone in the community follows it very closely. And we all know that there was only ever a wolf event number four. But this fake Twitter account, um, let's find the fake one. Sorry, this is the, this is the real one. Um, I know it gets confusing, but Twitter should really be on top of this. Here's the fake one, and it's saying that there's a wool event number five. So a lot of people thought, oh, hang on, there's another event that I'm missing. They've been clicking on this, they've been having their money stolen, um, and this has been reported. Um, I will report it again, but uh, Twitter does not listen. Um, Twitter does not care. Um, and I know that this, I know this because if they did, they would have real people here monitoring this and not bots okay because the bots do not understand the difference they cannot see what is going on and so people i i'm not just joking i i would say you know millions multi multi millions i mean the amount of money that would have been stolen from people and and, and wouldn't have been able to steal that money if it was not for Twitter, enabling them, giving them the tools and the resources they need to reach um, a, a, a big market, and in this case, 32.9 thousand followers. This scam has been reposted 16.6 thousand times, right? Um, and, and it's still here. And, and our entire community, well, not the entire community, but a fair proportion of our legitimate wolf game community has been reporting this and it's still here so when you see rubbish on twitter about how like you know about how different political groups um are being censored or whatever um twitter will not censor accurate information about anything yeah you won't well you don't censor criminal information you don't censor when certain trolls out there um, fake dox people for crimes and, and, and people hunt them down and then find out they had nothing to do with it, they weren't even there. I mean, there's just so many things wrong with t Twitter. Oh, okay, Let, let's have a, a look at another one. Um, no, actually, I won't. But in terms of you shutting down legitimate accounts, y you do that all the time. I've got a, another legitimate account that you shut down for no reason months ago. I don't get any response, anything from any of the Twitter team because it doesn't exist. You don't have a human support team. How's that work out, right? Well, it, it works out exactly how we're looking at here now. And what we're looking at is an absolute minefield of fake accounts that Twitter just lets them just carry on oblivious, right? While they scam and steal money. That is just so wrong. I really have trouble putting it into words how wrong it is that a platform allows you to do that.